Hi, I'm Tamara Haynes from the American Quilters Society. I'm here at Spring Paducah Quilt Week with Kay Dungess from Blairsville, Georgia. And she is the judge's recognition. Ricky Timms chose her quilt as his favorite. And this award is sponsored by Quilt EZ. Welcome and congratulations. Thank you so much. Yes. So I, I love, I, I'm a dog lover too, so I know exactly why Ricky chose your quilt. I would love to talk about the process and let's start at the beginning. What inspired this wonderful quilt? Well, this dog belongs to our quilt shop owner and he comes to the quilt shop when her husband goes out of town because he misses her husband so much. Okay and he mourns for him. Wow. So my husband sometimes takes him out for a walk mm -hmm. and he's gotten so he really likes my husband. He's a, he's a dog that likes men. Uh -huh. So we were up at the shop back in March. It was cold. My husband had his hat and his coat. Uh -huh. And I turned around and the dog was curled up on the bench hugging it. Aww, and so, so I got my phone, took a few pictures mm -hmm. and said this has to be a quilt. Absolutely. So started with a photograph and then so talk talk to us about the process your piecing your thread painting tell us everything that went into that okay i do all raw edge fused applique the only thing that's pieced of course is the border okay. and uh, he had a pillow in back of him and the pillow didn't work so I took a picture of a spider web quilt that I had done oh, sure. and I used it in the quilt, so I decided to repeat that in the border with fabrics. It complements each other nicely. It's basically yes. all cotton fabrics from okay. the quilt store, except for right here. the hat, mm -hmm. and it's mm -hmm. got some suede cloth in it. Okay. I didn't really do thread painting. I did scribbling back and forth oh, okay. with invisible thread <laughs> okay. to reproduce higher. I see. And then anything to enhance the color, uh, the color and shading on the dog. In a few places, I use colored pencil to okay. shade. Basically, sure. all my shading is done with color, but colored pencil is used in a few places. Okay. Like here. And, and tell me, is there a special machine that you like to use or that you used on this quilt? For quilting, I used a sit-down long arm. Okay. I used the Bernina Q20. It seems to work best for me. Okay. I was not successful trying to be a stand-up long armor. Gotcha. So <laughs> that's the machine that I used mm -hmm. to quilt this quilt. Gotcha. Okay. And so you, you're you a veteran here for entering quilts yeah. with us. Yes. I won a first place Paducah, I think, three years ago. Wonderful. And I've been in several AQS contests. Yes. Well, wonderful. Well, thank you so much. And did you find that that was an easy process? It's to enter very your easy. And I keep telling people, enter your quilts, yes. you yes. know, you know, just go online, take a full-size picture of your quilt, take a detailed picture of your quilt, and that's it. You just wait for your little notice saying you're in. That's right. <laughs> Just it's easier than you think, right. isn't it? Yes, yes. And what's the dog's name? Oh, the dog's name is Chester. So Chester. this is Chester. Oh. And the title of the quilt is Daddy's Boy because he's a daddy's boy. Yes. Well, he is lovely, and I'm I'm sure we would all love to have such a beautiful quilt of our own pet. So thank you. Well, thank you, and congratulations, and thank you for spending a few minutes with us. And we look forward to seeing your next. Oh, uh, I hope creation. so. Yes. I have one of the drawing boat work. Oh, there you go. Can't wait to see it. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, and we hope you've been inspired to enter your next quilt in one of the AQS Upcoming Quilt Week contests.